Hello everyone, this is Luxury PL38. Today I would like to do an unboxing from the Spring Summer New Collection from Chanel. I've actually purchased um, two handbags. I'm going to do an unboxing for the first one and I'm going to do a second unboxing for the second one later on because I would like to do a comparison for the second one as well. But let's get into the first one. As you can see, this is um, extremely well tied up. And um, today is actually the launch day of the um, items. But I was actually shown to pictures of the items itself a few days ago from my SA. She always does that. She always sends me pictures before the launch day and that way I am able to choose which one I would like. So this is one of the bags that I purchased pre-launch and I was there to pick it up today. So let me just put that on the floor. I was actually surprised to find this color um, for this particular style and I was, um, we'll see as I unbox this because I am looking for this particular color and I was glad that they released this for this style okay and for people that actually knows that I like to put the Camilla flower on the box here it just looks nice Okay, and that's the I also try to take this slowly out I don't know if um, you guys are doing that too but I like to do that so I was looking for this particular color when they released it um, previous season last year but I couldn't find it um, I was specifically after the classic flap and also the Chanel 19 but it was sold out everywhere so when I saw this color being released for this cute little drawstring bag I jumped into it because I am particularly interested in the grey and I was so surprised that they did release the grey in the drawstring bag this is actually, they call it drawstring bag on their website, if you go to Chanel online website, but well, you could call it a bucket bag, but um, I believe there is a couple of different varieties, and um, this is the smaller ones. Can you believe it? There's actually another smaller one which just comes out like that. I try to put my phone because I have the largest phone and it just doesn't fit on the smaller one. The phone just sticks out. So I did not get the smaller ones because that's the one that I was after initially. And uh, when she showed me the the regular size, the one that's um, bigger than the smaller ones, which is this one, I've jump into it because I am able to fit my phone in. Let me just take this out. I was able to fit my phone in. Again, this was just released today. So I just came back from the Chanel boutique and as you can see, it's all wrapped up really nicely. I believe it is from the factory. So... There you go. And um, for those that are aware of the bucket bag, um, you actually push it to open it. And it has the, um, let me just have a look. It, it has the plastic tag at the back. I believe the front one has come out, but the back one still have that plastic tag sticker. And the hardware is, it has the Chanel hardware on this one as well and um, I believe this is silver hardware but let me just have a look at it because for Chanel it would say here so it is actually in champagne gold because the logo Chanel here it is clearly in champagne gold 
and this is made in Italy, the color of the logo will resemble the color of the hardware. So if you're not sure whether the color is silver or champagne gold because of certain lining, lighting, just have a look at the, um, the color of the logo itself and it will tell you that. And this is the authenticity card. And let me see what, I'm just gonna show you the first nine are uh, the first two so it's the 29 series and this is from the 20 s collections which is the spring summer collections and the material inside it's actually fabric so it is very similar to a lot of the um, Chanel bag for this price range and this is actually retail for 4,100 Canadian dollars the smaller one which is an inch smaller than this I think that's the smaller size which um, which is from this to this see where the strap is that's how small the smaller one is that one is retail for 3,800 and 50 sorry 3850 Canadian so the difference between the smaller one and this one it's around $200 250 Canadian dollars so this I actually grabbed this because um, it is able to fit my phone I can put my phone horizontally if I were to put it vertically up it does come up to about here and I do have the largest phone and I do apologize because I'm actually using my phone to shoot this video so I do have the largest phone it just comes up to about here where the holes of this um, strap goes and um, I actually try putting it horizontally and it is fine and um, I believe the horizontally one you are able to put it so let me just so in order to tighten it up let me just show you the shape oh and um, let me show you the strap first it is not removable and it has the ladder on your shoulder strap to make it easier on your shoulder when you carry it and um, it is long enough for a cross body it is definitely long enough for a cross body even though it, it's not adjustable and let me show you the base it has all the kilter and this is actually in lambskin leather Let me just show you around and you can see all the hardware has the Chanel logo on it. The middle one doesn't. The middle one is where you put put it together like that. And uh, I'm just going to show you when I tighten this what it looks like. And also the strap for this, it's similar to the mini rectangular size it's um, the, the size of it the, the it's it's a very thin strap however if you look at this one the one that goes around the back itself to tighten it it's actually smaller than this see how the size comparison the shoulder strap is bigger than this I will imagine because you need to use this on your shoulder so that's the reasons why it is thicker but it is very close to the mini rectangular ones okay so let me just tighten the back so that's what it's gonna look like the shape of it it's like that so this is the Chanel bucket bag. I guess in time, hopefully it goes in a little bit closer because this is brand new and it is still, um, I assume it's coming up from the factory 
it is a little bit on the tight side so in time hopefully it is not gonna be as tight let me see if I can put it up closer like that Yeah, I was hoping to get it. So, so that's how it looks like the shape. I've tried to put it in as close as I could, but because it is a brand new bag, it is a little bit very. It, it is just a little bit on the tight. But um, I'm trying to show you the shape. There you go. That's how the shape of the bucket bag from Chanel looks like. And if you do have any questions or comments, please do so in the sections below. And I'm going to do another unboxing for the second handbag that I purchased. And I also bought an SLG, which I'm going to do an unboxing for that one as well. But this is the bucket bag and it is in the beautiful, gorgeous grey colour. And I've been eyeing on this colour since they released it last season for that classic flap. I believe they have that in the medium, large and the jumbo size. And also they released this for the Chanel 19, the grey colour, but it was sold out last season. So I was after the grey colour and I'm happy that I actually got the grey Chanel bag even though it is a bucket bag because I do have another Chanel bucket bag. It, it, it's in black so I feel that the grey actually complement my Chanel collections. So once again, thanks for watching.